Good morning. We are back in my bathroom because I've decided I'm gonna cut my hair again today. I will be going on a vacation soon and I'm going to somewhere where it's really tropical, also really humid. So I have, I just want to make my life easier during this vacation. Basically, that's what I want to do with you today in this video. I want to take you with me as I prep for a vacation. First things first, a haircut. I can't get mad at myself. I'm doing this for free, so I'm saving money, but at the same time, I can get this done right away too, so that's part of the reason why I'm doing this today. First things first, according to Brad Mondo, it would be easier for you to cut your hair if you straightened it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And while I do my haircut, I will also be listening to an audiobook to prepare myself for this trip. I haven't done this before, but I figured because I'm going to this location, I might as well have a book in preparation for this trip that will entice me, intrigue me a little bit more about the location, even though I am already really excited. I'm listening to The Beauty of Humanity Movement by Camilla Gibb. Still, full permission, if not license. You purchase a firewood, which is a giant on bias in this bowl. For it, will must be respected through deference to today, disciplined his mouth. Take one last look. This is the before. Makes the chopsticks hung off first. The foreman thrusts. I keep running, there's no stopping Cause when I'm with you, I just fall I keep talking, confronting All of your woes ain't my fault Leave me, baby I am done. I can't tell much of a difference because I curled it. Did I curl it to hide any imperfection and mistakes? Maybe. By the way, this book that I'm listening to, it is very interesting and I'm happy that I'm listening to it. We're actually following four characters. Maggie is the one that comes from the US and she is here in Vietnam to just learn more about her father's history and it leads her to Hung, Bin, and Tha. I love listening to this because they're talking about specific locations and area, the north and the south, both of which we're gonna be visiting during our trip. So it's kind of cool because I'm kind of getting my own little tourist and travel guide experience through the book. The next step for this prep is either me going shopping or just me packing for this. I hope I don't need a shop. I hope I don't. But I will be packing and stay tuned for that. I'm currently in the parking lot waiting for my appointment. I'm at the beauty spot because I'm about to get waxed just in time for this vacation. I just realized I'm doing the absolute most preparing for this vacation. Or maybe a lot of girls do this. No, I know for sure that a lot of girls do this. But guys, Eddie will get a haircut and then that's pretty much it for him. Tomorrow I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm gonna go to a wellness spa. I'm gonna pick up some meds. Like I have a few things to get done and I haven't even packed yet. I think it's just being a girly girl through and through. It's part of being what I am. This really does just help me feel better about being prepared for a vacation. If I don't do any of this, I might feel incomplete mentally, emotionally, physically. This just makes me feel better. Anyways, I am gonna go get waxed. I have tried laser before and for some reason, for me personally, waxing is less painful. Girl, when I got laser, I was like, when is this pain gonna end? But when I get whacked, it's like, ch -ch -ch -ch. okay, you're done. Laser, it's like, dzz, dzz. there's a difference with the level of pain just because of how much longer it'll take to finish that session. All right, here we go. Do you have any vacations planned this summer? I don't. In May, I'm going to Virginia to visit a friend. It's her son's birthday. So So 
So I just got back from Ulta and I was there only because I had a pickup order, but while I was there, I, I might as well take a gander and look around. And I forgot that Ula Henriksen is now in Ulta. I got this. I got the Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. I heard good things about the original flavor. No flavor not the original flavor the original one that they initially came out with they recently came out with these tinted ones so let's try it together i love sarah you said that this was good so i'm trusting her and my lips get so dry like i have i have really dry lips just in general mm, okay i usually use the laneige one like this has been something that i'm using all the time and i don't see any difference with this at all it doesn't do anything for me. So that's how I wanted to get a new one. This is like $24, I think. It's so ridiculous paying $24 for a freaking lip balm. The taste, it tastes like grapefruit. No, not grapefruit. What does this taste like? Guava. It tastes like guava. And I don't love that. But it feels great on the lips so far. It's very thick. Okay. It's whatever. Yeah, it's cool. Next. This is what I initially came to pick up. I came to pick up Alien Goddess Perfume by Mugler. Ooh, I wanted to have a travel size perfume. I wanted to save this memory through scent. Gosh, I love the packaging. I hope TSA doesn't stop me. This smells like something I already have actually, which I knew that, I knew that buying this but it's a little bit different. I'll put the notes up on the screen. It's sweet. It's very strong. Good morning, another day, another parking lot. I'm currently at Paws Studio waiting for my appointment to begin. Since I'm about to leave for my vacation, my free trial at this place is about to expire. So I need to make sure I spend time here before my free trial ends. For today's service, I'm gonna be doing the float service that they have. You'll see later. I think it's like magnesium or there's a lot of, I don't know exactly the mechanism on what makes me float, but I'll be floating for an hour pretty much. Other than that, today I will be going to the nail salon. I'll be getting my nails done. I will see you later. <laughs> Next up on our vacation preparation situation is replacing the bed sheets. I have already washed the bed sheets. Now I'm gonna put the clean sheets on the bed. I don't know about you, but I'm that person that needs to clean everything before I leave. So when I come home, I feel welcomed. I don't wanna come home to a dirty house or a house that will stress me out with all of the mess. I at least wanna tidy it up a little bit. I do the roll up method for putting my duvet back in the covers. I love doing this. It's so much easier, but it's way easier when Eddie is here and we do it together. I think somewhere in a different life, I 
I'm still seven in second grade And I'm so happy that I feel alright Really quick, I also wanted to show you some of the things that I got in preparation for this trip because we have been to Asia before when I visit my family in the Philippines. I'm familiar with what I need for this 16 hour journey. I got Dramamine. I need this to survive. Honestly, there was a point where I just had Dramamine in every single one of my bags because I will get car sick. Any type of motion, I will have sickness and that's where these come into play. Next, dude wipes dude wipes or baby wipes they are essential actually there's a lot of hotels in asia that come with the day so you can wash yourself but in other places they might not so baby wipes generic emodium typically we would get the real emodium but we got the amazon brand we just need to make sure that we are prepared it's not a matter of if we get diarrhea it's when we get diarrhea I know it's too much, it's too much information. I'm sorry, but it's the reality of things, especially when there's street food involved, especially when you're eating a lot of new things. I'm just being prepared. And lastly, I got a fake ring. I got a travel ring because I knew that I wanted to make sure and let it be known that I am engaged, but I don't want to risk it. So just got a different type of ring. Honestly, it could pass. If you want to test drive an engagement ring, I think it's worth getting something on Amazon first just to see which shape works best for you and the carrot size that you want. But now I'm like, dang, maybe I should have gotten this a round ring because I really love the shape of this. Anyways, this is the ring that I'm gonna be bringing with me to Asia and that's it. All we have to do now is pack. That's another venture. That is a whole other situation all on its own. I will see you when I'm ready. Typically when I pack, I always have a list ready. That way I know exactly what is important to me. I jot this down throughout my day to day. That way I remember. Hopefully this prevents me from forgetting anything. Now I don't have an exact idea as to the outfits. I just know that it needs to be versatile. It needs to be good with humidity. It needs to be able to mismatch. That's pretty much it. I may have some pieces in mind, but nothing concrete. So let's just get to packing. I started trying to pack, right? And I was looking for something and then I went completely outside of my list and I found other things that I do feel like I need to bring that wasn't on my list yet. I'm not packing it yet. I just think that I will need them. Okay, let's actually reference the list, shall we? Imodium, Dramamine, eye drops, liquid IV, pimple patches, tampons, deodorant, wet wipes. Okay, I'm already overwhelmed. What I'm doing right now is just kind of piling up all of the things that I think I need and then at the end I'm gonna organize it, section it off, ideally by day. But right now I just need to dump everything so I can see it, see what I'm working with, and edit and adjust. I'm at this point in packing where I feel like I'm doing stuff but nothing is getting done you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna procrastinate actually let me check what the weather is in vietnam that's a great place to start no actually a better place to start is checking the weather in thailand okay let's see okay hot 81 degrees mostly right now but during the time that we're gonna be there it's gonna be like 95 94 95 okay because I don't want to overpack clothes, I really want to make sure that we get laundry done. Like, that's the thing that I'm thinking about. What would be like a nice light jacket to bring? I could also just go shopping. I gotta give myself some room to shop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, and I also need a hat. Or I could also just buy a hat there. No, I don't need another one. Is this a look like when I have a dirty hair day? I swear I thought it looked cuter than this. Okay, this is staying home. 
yeah. And then as for the bags, this is really the only one that I planned on bringing. This is from Uniqlo. This is the larger size. I needed something that'll fit my camera, but also something that could be a little bit more compact. It can also be crossbody, which I'm probably gonna be wearing it like this most of the time. I just don't know if I need to be bringing another bag, a smaller bag perhaps. But then again, I could also buy one there. <laughs> this, these pants, shirt, and then I could also put it with these similar pants, but if I really need to be dressed up, then I can have these pants. I have my going out tops. I think I'm ready to actually pack the clothes now. I actually feel like I'm almost done packing. Packed until 9.30ish last night, and then at that point I was just like so over it. But all of my clothes, all of my clothes, fit in a carry-on. I'm gonna be gone for two weeks. That is an accomplishment for me. Really, the plan is to pack light and I have my clothes that are gonna fit in here. The check-in is really gonna be meant for whatever stuff I buy overseas. Maybe souvenirs, but I know I plan on doing some shopping and this is what that luggage is gonna be for. That was a lot, that was a lot even for me. I want to give you a tour of my carry-on luggage because I am so, so proud of it. Again, I'm going to be gone for two weeks, so the fact that all of the clothes that I need to wear can fit in here, I think I may have even overpacked because we plan on doing some laundry, but whatever. It's better to have a little bit more than way less. So what we have here, I was able to fit I think 10 to 12 different activewear of outfits here. Granted, activewear, they're generally thinner. Here, they're all like my nicer stuff. My jeans are in here, there's dresses here, there's cover-ups, there's just nicer type of outfits. Here, we have bras, socks, bikini, my underwear. This is like all underwear and all sleeping clothes. Then we have my jewelry. Jewelry goes here. I don't have a lot, but I want to keep it organized. And then we have a hat just in case. My makeup goes in here. This is officially completed. Now the test is if it closes. And the other thing is the weight capacity for carry-on is 17 pounds. No, 15 pounds for carry-on. I thought it was 25. I can guarantee you that this is gonna be more than 15 pounds. We are actually, this time for real, we're actually done packing. It seems like I'm gonna have to check in my carry-on bag because the weight limit feels like it's just not realistic for my carry-on to be brought on with me. So I'm only gonna be walking into that airplane with a backpack on. But I'm still really happy with how I ended up packing. You guys, I'm typically such an overpacker. So this is an accomplishment for me. So at this point, we are officially ready to get on our trip. So we'll see you in Vietnam. Wait, no, I'll see you in Thailand. <laughs> Bye.